comes to interviewing for a job, you know, there's always uh, the preparation that goes in, into it and of course thinking of the questions you want to ask. The questions you want to ask as a job seeker, you know, because keep in mind, not only are you being evaluated, but you want to evaluate the company. You want to interview them at the same time. So it's a two-way street and it's a dialogue that you want to have. So I want to uh, point out a couple things. We've got an article by Jack Kelly at Forbes. He had some great uh, points to make here and really centered around that question that usually comes at the end or, or maybe, maybe not, but it says, do you have any questions for me? Something the interviewer asks. So do you have any questions? This is nothing to freak out about because it's basically just a generic question to kind of uh, usually signal that the interview is wrapping up. So hopefully you've already gotten through all the meat of the discussion you learned what you need to learn, but you need to otherwise be engaged in the moment. So don't let it all come down to that one question. Basically engage the interviewer at every step of the way, right? So pay close attention to social cues that the interview gives off. So learn or notice the style of interviewing the interviewer uses, including the mannerisms, the pattern of speech, uh, the tone of their voice, other signs or body language that will help you to establish a better relationship and get comfortable. So you can build more trust and that allows you to open up and sell yourself, sell your skills and your abilities. So take it as like a normal conversation is what Jack is saying. So keep it real, keep it natural. Don't uh, make it some kind of robotic sequence of question and answer. So they ask you the question, you answer question, answer question, answer no. Think about how you carry on a conversation in real life and you know you want to show that you're sincerely interested and that you are engaged or excited about something the interviewer says where you can jump in with your own questions to get more details or add a little bit more color on your experience there. So if you're offering these passionate types of questions with thoughtful follow-ups, everything will flow naturally and then you really get to know each other and it's just two professionals talking shop. That's really all it comes down to. And so, uh, you know, once you do this, it'll be more, much more natural. And of course you'll make a better impression. And then you kind of disarm that situation where it's like, okay, questions for me. And you kind of draw a blank. So you won't have to worry at that point if you go through this. And they might not even ask you that question if you had such a good rapport, a good conversation along the way. You don't even have to worry about it. So, but if there is something you can ask, uh, you know, if they do ask you this, you can just reply saying, well, thank you very much. You've been very gracious. I've gotten a lot of information. I found it very informative and it was helpful for me to understand the company, the role. You want to talk about that. You want to give that kind of feedback and then end up saying something like, hey, I feel very confident in my skills and abilities to be a good fit for the job and I'm looking forward to taking the next steps. So basically, you've kind of flipped it and you've gone on the offense and rather than waiting to be uh, bombarded with questions, right? So another another approach to that is kind of rephrasing everything you talked about. You know, rephrase your discussion, making sure you, you know, you've got it straight from their perspective. So do I understand this? You know, it, it will definitely help to see that you can sum up the answers. It shows them that you are listening and that you are interested. And then you can ask them the same thing. You can say, hey, do you have any questions for me, right? So these are just some helpful tips. I'm gonna post this article in the comments below. Let us know what you think about the interview process, preparing for interviews, questions. What are some of the questions you always think to ask? Okay, that would be helpful. Like I said, I'm gonna post this article in the comments below.